Hi everyone, welcome to the enchanting world of penguins. Where birds waddle through icy landscapes, defy the odds and capture our hearts. In this video, we are diving deep into the fascinating lives of these flightless wanderers, exploring their incredible adaptations, their unique behaviors, and the challenges they face in ever-changing Antarctic environment. So get ready to embark on a journey to the southernmost corners of our planet and discover the captivating world of penguins. The common name for the bird is penguins, while the scientific name is Twanishidae. According to its diet, the bird is carnivore and the group name for the bird is colony. Its size ranges between 16 to 45 inches and it weighs between 2 to 88 pounds. The average lifespan for the bird is 15 to 20 years. They live almost exclusively in the southern hemisphere. Only one species, the Galapagos penguin, is found in north of the equator. The bird is highly adopted for life in ocean water. Penguins have counter shaded dark and white plumage and flippers for swimming. Most penguins feed on krill, fish, squid and other forms of sea life which they catch with their bills and swallow whole while swimming. A penguin has a spiny tongue and powerful jaws to grip the slippery prey. Penguins spend about half of their lives on land and the other half in the sea. The largest living species of the bird is the emperor penguin. On an average, adults are about 1.1 meter tall and weigh 35 kg. The smallest penguin species is the little blue penguin, also known as the fiery penguin, which stands around 30 to 33 cm tall and weighs between 1.2 to 1.3 kg. with temperate or tropical climates. Adept male penguins are sometimes called hawks, females sometimes called hens. A group of penguins on land is a wooden and a group of penguins in the water is a rock. Depending on the authority that is followed. Penguin biodiversity varies between 17 and 20 living species, all in the subfamily Swanishinae. Penguins are adopted to aquatic life. Their wings have evolved to become flippers that are used as for flight in the air. In the water, however, penguins are astonishingly agile. Penguin swimming looks very similar to the bird's flight in the air. Within the smooth plumage, a layer of air is preserved, ensuring the buoyancy. for camouflage, that is they have black backs and wings with white fronts. A predator looking up from below such as an oka or a leopard seal 
has difficulty distinguishing between a white penguin belly and the reflective water surface. The dark plumage on their backs camouflages them from above. Gentoo penguins are the fastest underwater birds in the world. They are capable of reaching speeds up to 36 km per hour while searching for food or escaping from predators. They are also able to dive to depths of 170 to 200 meters. The small penguins do not usually dive deep. They carry their prey near the surface in dives that normally last only one or two minutes. are the world's deepest diving birds. They can dive to depths of approximately 550 meters while searching for food. Penguins either waddle on their feet or slide on their bellies across the snow while using their feet to propel and steer themselves in a movement called tobogganing, which conserves energy while moving quickly. Penguins have an average sense of hearing for birds. This is used by parents and chicks to locate one another in crowded colonies. Their eyes are adopted for underwater vision and primary means of locating prey and avoiding predators. In the extreme cold of the Antarctic winter, the females are at sea fishing for food, leaving the males to brave the weather by themselves. They often huddle together to keep warm and rotate positions to make sure that each penguin gets a turn in the center of the heat pack. All extant penguins, even those that live in warmer climates, have a countercurrent heat exchanger called a humeral plexus. The flippers of penguins have at least three branches of the axillary artery, which allows cold blood to be hurted by blood that has already been warmed and limits heat loss from the flippers. The system allows penguins to efficiently use their body heat and explains why such small animals can survive in the extreme cold. They can drink salt water because their supraorbital gland filters excess salt from the bloodstream. The salt is excreted in a concentrated fluid from the nasal passages. Perhaps 1 in 50,000 penguins are born with brown rather than black plumage. These are called isabelline penguins. Isabellinism is different from albinism. Isabellic penguins tend to live shorter lives than normal penguins, as they are not well camouflaged against the deep and are often passed over as mates. Penguins for the most part breed in large colonies. These colonies may range in size from as few as 100 pairs for gentoo penguins to several hundred thousand in the case of king, macaroni and chin strap penguins. Living in colonies results in a high level of social interaction between birds which has led to a large repertoire of visual as well as vocal displays in all penguin species. Most penguins lay two eggs in a clutch. Although the two largest species, the emperor and the king penguins lay only one.
with the exception of the emperor penguin where the male does it all all the penguins share the incubation duties these incubation shifts can last days and even weeks as one member of the pair feeds at sea penguins generally only lay one brood the exception is the little penguin which can raise two or three broods in a season penguin eggs are smaller than any other bird species when compared proportionally to the weight of the parent birds the relatively thick shell forms between 10 and 16% of the weight of a penguin egg presumably to reduce the effects of dehydration and to minimize the risk of breakage in an adverse nesting environment The yolk too is large and comprises 22 to 31% of the egg. Some yolk often remains when a chick is born and is thought to help sustain the chick if the parents are delayed in returning with food. Now we see the threats and the conservation status of this bird. About 2/3 of penguin species are listed as threatened on the IUCN red list, making them one of the most endangered seabirds. Loss of habitat, disease and infectious diseases spread by tourist loom as threats. Commercial fishing in the Southern Ocean is also a significant concern as it has reduced fish supply by about half in the Antarctic peninsula. This forces many penguins to compete for food and puts them in danger of getting accidentally captured by fishing nets. Among the biggest threats to penguins population is the climate change. Warming in the polar regions has melted sea ice, which penguins depend on to find food and build nests. Rapidly changing conditions means Antarctica could lose most of its penguins to climate change by the end of the century. To survive they may have to relocate to new habitats.
Thank you.